Hello there, Odessa. It's me, Nikimbe, and I just want to show you a little bit about how my program, how Maptim's program works. Basically, what we do is we take small businesses through the exact same process that we take big corporations to come up with their marketing plan. The main difference between a professional and an entrepreneur, sorry, a professional and an amateur marketer, is an amateur marketer, a small business entrepreneur is likely to just you know, have an idea, get a logo, do a website, look at a couple webinars, and they start marketing. That is not the way corporations do it. Corporations actually do their marketing last. They do a whole heck of a lot of research beforehand. They answer these questions, the who, what, where, why, whens, and hows, and they look at something sort of like what I'm going to call the life Four Cornerstone Technology, which I'll explain to you in a little bit. So the acronym LIFE, L-I-F-E, stands for the following. L is about the legacy and self. I is about your intellect and marketing or your marketing intellect. The F is about your financial awareness. And the E is about your enter enterprise excellence. So you have, we would look at your legacy and self. We look at your financial situation, we look at your business situation, and then finally, we look at um, your marketing. So even though it's L-I-F-E, we actually take the I and we put it at the end because you look at marketing last. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit about how the program works so you understand why we like to take small businesses through this because sometimes people get really impatient and they want to do things their way and then it ends up not working as well as it can and everyone and and you know we don't want anyone to get frustrated so we really want to encourage people to go through the proper marketing cycle the proper 12 steps to marketing success in order for you to achieve the results you're looking for so basically with the life four cornerstone technology um, business technology what we do is we look at four areas as I mentioned we look at your legacy and self we look at your financials, we look at your business, we look at your marketing, and then um, there's execution at the end. So basically what would happen is you can do this program in 12 weeks, 12 to 13 weeks, or you could do it in 12 months. It's completely up to you. Um, the 12 week program is nice if you have a lot of time, but if you don't, it's nice to just take it easy, do one chunk at a time, and just let everything sort of sit, absorb, and marinate before hurriedly rushing into the next new thing. So there are a couple ways to do the program. Um, you can do it in terms of these themes that we have. So this week one, you would be looking at these, um, sorry. So in week one, you would be looking at these things. On Monday, you'd be looking at your fears and concerns. On Tuesday, you'd be looking at your fin current financial situation. On Wednesday, you'd be describing your business. On Thursday, you'd be doing a SWOT analysis, looking at your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats and feasibility when it comes to your marketing. And then on Friday, you would have a write-up and you would leave us a, a video. So you would say, so you know what, I went through this exercise and I realized that these are the fears and the concerns that I have in life and these are the fears and concerns that I have around business. This should actually probably be also in the business section now that I think about it. Okay. Um, uh, sorry. Okay, damn it. Uh, can you go anymore? Yes. Okay, so, um, and then in the next week of the first month, we would be looking at, you know, your mission and vision statement for yourself in your life, your mission and vision statement for your financial, your financial situation, your mission and vision for your business, and, you know, you would look at a mission and vision sort of for marketing, but it's really a competitor analysis and then as I said I'll get to the execution later but just know that you know you'll have another video to do so this video would be like 
Okay, so this week I was really looking at my mission and vision for all areas of my life, my legacy and self, my marketing intellect, my financial situation, my enterprise excellence, my mission and vision and creating statements for each of those four areas. And then, like I said, we the next week and the third week, we'll move on to the next theme, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you wanted to do this in a monthly fashion, you could do this. So in month one, let's just say this was in January. The first week of January, you'd be looking at your fears and concerns around yourself and your legacy. The second week, you'd be looking at um, your current financial situation and any fears or concerns around that. In week three, we look at your business. In week four, you look at the SWAT just like we did above, but instead of it taking place in the first week of the month, it's going to happen every week and it will take one entire month. Okay, so that's the difference in terms of the pace of the um, program. And I'm going to show you how the themes work. And then I'll let you know another way you can structure the program. Um, oh, yeah, so this is just supposed to be theme as opposed to uh, having a week or a month. Because just maybe your schedule doesn't allow for that. Maybe your business is cyclical and there are some part times of the year where you're just not able to commit to this schedule. So then you would just work by themes. So I'm going to show you what all the themes are. So, you know, it could take you one week or one month or two months, but you would be working on one theme before moving on to the next theme. So the first theme is just all about assessment, assessing your fears and concerns in your life, your finances, your business, etc. The next theme, which is either week two or month two, just depending on how you decide to structure your program, we start to look at broader goals. You know, what are your mission and visions? What are your mission statements and vision statements in each of these areas of life? And then figuring out what your broad goals are. And then in the week three, it's about planning, prioritizing, and adjusting. So now we know where you are. This is a needs analysis, looking at where you are now, what you enjoy or what's working. A is what you would alter or change. And D is who is the decision maker or what what factors would influence your decisions in any of these areas and then s significant others are there other people board of directors uh you know a significant other that needs to weigh in on any of this and then you want to start to examine your beliefs and behaviors in these areas if we don't address your beliefs and behaviors in these areas you're really sort of just piling bricks on you know uneven land or quicksand or something that's not stable. You really have to get the foundation of your beliefs straight. Otherwise, I'm not really sure how to describe it quickly, but it does, it just won't stick. It's surface stuff, right? So we want to look at the limiting beliefs and we want to start to change them, but we have to look at them first. So it would be later on creating affirmations and manifestations around these things. But right now, in the fourth week or the fourth theme or the fourth month, you'd be looking at your beliefs and behaviors in all areas of your life. And then theme five, week five, month five, it's refining and getting deeper. So we had broad goals here. You know, just what my mission is this, my vision is this. But then you need to deep, you need to go a little further and dive down a little deeper so that you can be more specific with those the mission and the vision so you know if you have a mission of this what does that look like you know for example microsoft had a vision of having a computer in every single home and that was quite an ambitious mission for that point in time back in i guess it was the 80s maybe um so what, what does that look like? How are you going to get all of these computers into this home, you know, into these homes? So it's getting deeper and, and refining the goals, getting more specific, I would say, around these things. So the um, theme for week six, month six, is again about the support pillars for the future. So you know what you want, you have your mission and your vision, and now you need to put those um, support beams in place to hold everything up. So that's the affirmations and the self-talk I spoke about. For the finances, it's going to be um, insurance and making sure that you have um, income replacement in case anything happens to you 
or your business, your family can continue to um, live the lifestyle they had with the same type of income. And then in week seven, theme seven, month seven, you're going to crystallize this a little bit more. So once you know you're saying the words and you want to use and involve more senses, so you know, what is the feeling like? Where do you want to live? What does it sound like when your shoes are on the floor? What does the feeling of the rail feel like? Are there any indents, you know, as you're walking it up? Is it, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it, does it have a nice smooth finish? What's the smell of the, you know, the, the floor or the scents in the room? What does everything look like? What does it feel like? What's the temperature? Like really, really getting into it that's going to help to sustain your vision long term and then you want to get out of debt and then you want to be good with your finances your cash flow your balance sheet and your income statements and then campaign construction again we're going to get into the execution of everything later theme eight week eight month eight is from survival to health and wellness so it's great you have all these plans in place, but now you want to make sure that you're living the healthy lifestyle, you're eating right, you're sleeping right, you're thinking right, you know, you're getting enough fresh air, you're doing what you need to do to make sure that all areas of your mind and body are working well to support all the energy that it takes to, you know, execute your dream. And then having a backup plan, an emergency fund, so you're not just able to pay your bills and your staff, you know, you're not just meeting your expenses, you're actually saving money so that you have a nest egg. In case something doesn't go the way that you wanted to, or for some other reason, you're not just surviving now. You're 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 exhibiting health and wellness and vitality in all areas of your life. For um, theme nine, week nine, month nine, we're moving from health and wellness to strength and soaring. This is when you are, you know, approaching peak performance. So it's long-term planning. You have your backup plan, and now. You know, what's the plan for the future? At what age do you want to retire? How much money do you want to have a month? What is that going to be when we factor in inflation? You know, if you want to have that much money a month at retirement, what age are you now? How much do you have to save it every month? What kind of interest rate do you have to get on your money so that your money grows and works hard for you so you don't have to work so hard for your money? This is really moving from just health and wellness to strength and soaring. You have a retirement plan. Uh, a, a long-term plan for your life, and you have your management in team, your management and support team in place so that you can do more things. Theme ten, week ten, month ten is really about moving from soaring, from strength and soaring to stabilizing and thriving. And I like this one, and it, it, you know, sometimes people get a little bit tripped up on these two phrases, but. You know, you ever see someone in the gym who's trying to lift a lot of weight and they need somebody to spot them, right? They're very strong, but they still need somebody to spot them because they're not all the time, you know, stable. Even sometimes when you're soaring, well, actually soaring is really pretty smooth journey, but you want to make sure that, you know, you're stabilized and you're gliding and you're thriving. So that's when it, you know, you, now that you've worked on you, now you want to work on your relationships and now that you know you know how to make money you know how to save money you're getting out of debt you want to figure out how to increase your cash flow and have multiple streams of income in terms of your business you want to look at growth and distribution do you want to be working this hard for the next 5 10 15 20 30 35 years or do you want to have systems people and places no do you want to have systems people and processes in place that can help you with the growth and distribution. You can work 100 hours a day if that were even possible, I'm sure you would try, or you could get 100 people to just work one hour a day. What's more feasible? What's easier on you? What brings in more money? Otherwise you'll have burnout, right? So it's moving from, again, strength and soaring, moving to stabilizing and thriving, growth and distribution. Theme 11 is um, you're moving from self to others. So again, you've, you're, you've mastered self, you've improved your relationship, and now you want to be able to pass that information on to the rest of the community. You know, you want to teach people what you know so that they can also enjoy, have an experience, what you enjoy, have an experience. So it's sort of like a handing off of the baton. 
So um, taking all the knowledge and experience that you've gained and, you know, passing it on to others in, in, whichever, in, in whichever way you deem appropriate. Professional management, now that you've gotten all of your money stuff in order, you want to be able to step back and, you know, let the pros handle it. Let you just let the pros handle it <laughs> and then benefactors in terms of your business. Do you want to sell it? Do you want to merge? You know, what do you want to do? Do you want to hand it down to your children? Do you just want to close up shop one day? You know, what are the benefactors? What's the long term goal? And then in week 12, it's just all about celebration, baby, celebrating yourself and your legacy, celebrating your financial awareness and success, celebrating your enterprise excellence and celebrating your marketing intellect. No longer will you be falling for gimmicks and gurus. You're going to base your marketing on strategy and sophisticated solutions. So that is that part of it. Now, if you didn't want to go through the program by theme, you could go through the program just working on one pillar of life of the four cornerstone business technology at a time. So what I mean by that is you could take three months and just work on your personal power, your legacy and yourself. You could take the second quarter and work on your finances. You could take the third quarter to work on your business and the fourth quarter to work on your marketing. So how that would work, um, let me see. Yep, so how that works, again, it's just the same thing. So um, module one, week one, month one, however you want to do it, we're just going to look at your personal fears, con concerns, challenges. And then the next time we're going to start to look at your personal mission and vision for yourself. Oh, this should not be business. And then we're going to look at your addressing, then we're going to adjust your limiting beliefs, then we're going to do the affirmations, then we're going to do the goal setting, then we're going to do the visualization and manifestation, then we're going to do time management, health and wellness, long-term planning, financial planning. This is not to the level it is here. It's just basic, you know, long-term sort of financial goals for your future, for yourself, how much money you want to have, et cetera, et cetera, and then celebrate. And then after, again, instead of breaking it up by themes like support and structure or planning and prioritizing, et cetera, assessment, et cetera, remember you'll be doing it by pillar. So the first pillar is professional development. Then we'll move on to financial development. So again, it's not by theme. These are concentrated by themes. These are concentrated by pillars. So then we would move to financial development. So you're going to assess your current financial situation where you are now, where you want to go, where you want to be, how you're going to get there. And then you're going to script your financial mission and vision statement for yourself. You're going to address your money beliefs because if you go ahead with all this marketing, you go ahead with all this business, but underneath in your subconscious you have contradictory beliefs about money, you're always going to somehow self-sabotage or repel that money. So this is why we really like everyone to work on the whole life series as opposed to just jumping into marketing or jumping into um, you know, business planning. These things are actually the pillars of success which will help you do very well. So then you'll have some affirmations and manifestations and prior priority and lifestyle adjustment around your finances. You may want to cut back in certain areas. You may want to pick up a, a second income generating opportunity like a part-time job or something. But just priorities and lifestyle management and adjustment. If you cannot master your finances in your personal life, you're going to have a heck of a time trying to balance it off in your business life. You want to set your financial goals both for your business and for yourself personally. Protect the assets you've worked so hard for. You want to get rid of debt. Debt accumulates a lot of interest and negatively works against you. So, you know, the stereo system that you bought for $2,000 with all the extra interest that you're paying on it, you end up paying $4,000. That's $2,000 that you could have invested and made money on instead. So you really want to try to get out of debt as quickly as possible. Build up your emergency fund instead of paying all those debt collectors and bills. Why don't you start paying yourself? You know, have a vacation fund or a fun fund or start saving for the kids' education or just whatever. Long-term planning, um, increasing your cash flow management, thinking about multiple streams of income, perhaps looking at multiple sources of um, income within your own business. No, no, no. It should be outside of your business. It's separate streams of income. Professional management, we already spoke about that, letting somebody take the reins over for you once you've um, 
built yourself up to where you want to be and you feel comfortable and certain with your financial knowledge, then you can allow and trust somebody to handle the rest of it for you. And then once you're good with yourself and once you're good with your finances, then you, you're, you know, you're making really good headway to build a strong business because you are strong in yourself and who you are. You know how to manage your finances. You know how to manage your time. You know how to manage your relationships. Business is all about relationships and all of these other things, you know, so you want to have a vision for your business. You want to have all these things in place. Anyway, so then the next theme would be the third quarter of the year. You would be looking at business management. Again, describing your business. What's your business mission and vision statement? What are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats? Is your business even feasible? Once we have determined what your financial situation, what what kind of financial situation you want to be in, we can take a look at your business, we can take a look at your pricing model, we can take a look at your distribution capabilities and capacities, etc., and see, is this even feasible? Like if you're selling a product that's $19.99, how many do you have to sell a month to hit your dreams, right? Is this even feasible? So let me write this word here. Feasible. Okay, and then you want to look at your competitors and figure out what your competitive advantage is so that you have a different story in the marketplace. Take a, a look at the market analysis. You know, what's the mood and the temperature of your consumers? Are things changing? Will they still want it? Just, you know, what's the market telling you? What, what changes might dictate how the wind blows for you and your, you and your business? Revenue forecasting. Um, yeah, just... just you know, if you ever wanted to go into a bank or an angel investor and get some money, you really need to have a comprehensive and robust business plan in place. You need to know things like your cash flow, your balance, your income statements. They want to know your revenue forecast, um, your revenue generation forecast for the next two to five years, right? So this is something you'll have to work on. Um, again, this is professional stuff here. Most people just want to start marketing. They just, you know, get on Facebook and post a couple times and somehow think they're just going to blow up really big and it doesn't work that way. Um, so we talked about this, marketing plan, having a management and support team in place, growth and distribution, you know, what's going to happen after. And so this is just all concentrating on your business here. And then lastly, you look at the marketing. Again, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats in terms of the different marketing ideas that you might have. You might not have the budget to advertise during the Super Bowl, right? So the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats in terms of your marketing, competitor analysis. Um, this can be from a, per, a marketing perspective as well. Where are they? What channels are they? On what channels are they present? Where are they marketing? You know, so just a marketing competitor analysis. Audience segmentation, just finding out really the target market that you're going after. And then specific persona profiles just for those individual people. Goals and benchmarks and um, goal determination and benchmarks. Campaign determination, for example, we have, you know, light it up, beard, beard oil and scented candles and body butter so you know there's a campaign for father's day there's a campaign around um christmas there are different campaigns she might have a subscription model where you know you buy packages to send to your friends every month so just what's the campaign a Christmas campaign a Father's Day campaign is there a St. Patty's Day campaign you know what's your messaging where do you want to be what do you want to say what are the images it's really just determining the campaign once you know the campaign then you can figure out the channel okay is it best that we're on Facebook is it best that we're on YouTube is it best that we're on Snapchat is it best that we're on Instagram once we've already looked at our audience segmentation and we've done the deep segment persona construction we really know to whom we're speaking we'll know where they are we can find out what they're interested in what shows they watch what spotify channels they listen to and you can show up there and then like i said then you put together your your you put together your campaign or your plan so there's no surprises you have all your emails ready all your banners ready you just have everything you have the 12 month plan all you have to do is hit go and then you execute you monitor you see how everything's go and then you measure, learn, refine. And then you have a smooth, smooth marketing business engine working for you. So those are the four pillars, uh, the four 
corner, four pillars of corner search business technology, something like that. Okay, and what, I want you to know something. So it's not like, okay, well, that's great. I'm really happy that I'm going to figure out my mission and vision and, you know, I'm going to do affirmations and goal setting. I'm like so excited, but really, I'd like to market and start to make some money. Never fear. That's going to happen. Once you do your homework, when you do these things and you submit your video and your write up to us, then we will be working on stuff at the same time that we release to you. So while you're working on theme one or week one or month one, whatever, we're looking at your website and reviewing your social media. We're giving you critique and a revamp strategy. Then we look at partnerships and setting you up as a social influencer and an expert and, you know, partnerships and finding out people with who have businesses, services, or products that are complementary to yours but are not directly competing with you so that you can sort of share your audience and fans. Then we want to create an actual brand document that you will have in your hand that you can hand off to any graphic designer or videographer and they'll be able to understand your theme, your language, your feel, your color, your tone, your fonts, your music, you know, it's a brand document. It just represents you without question. It's also, like I said, a very good way for people um, coming on board who are working with you. We talked about expanding your, your management team and having some support. They need to understand who you are and this is the best way for them to do that. A website will never capture it in the same way. And um, then we're going to help you with your audience research. We're going to find out where they are for you, but you are going to be doing the homework because, you know, Maptim is all about mastery, education, empowerment. We want to empower you to understand your marketing. Should things ever change, you will be self-sufficient. And then we really want to start to get you to have a video sales letter. That is super, super important in marketing. I'm not going to get into too much of that, but... We will help you with this and help you pick your images, your music. We will determine the channels with you, execute. So every month we will have something, some marketing deliverable for you so that you know you are definitely moving ahead, definitely moving forward. And then lastly, also additionally every month we are going to advise you, guide you, perhaps drive for you in these areas as well. So week one or month one, again, theme one, however you decide to do it, after we've taken a look at this, we are going to give you your video strategy. So your video strategy might be, we might suggest that you get 10 to 25 videos. Um, you know, they should be three months in length, three minutes in length. They should talk about this, this, that, and the other. This is, you know, the banner that you should have on it. This is a clickable link you should have in it. This is the clickable link you should have in the description, blah, blah, blah. So you'll get advice from us on every month. In a minute, you'll see there are different levels of ex execution and strategy support. So we can just tell it to you or we can do it for you or we can get, you know, more in depth with the instructions, etc. So then the next month theme or week would be looking at your social, like do you have a social online presence? Do you have a Google Plus page? Are you showing up? What are your reviews? Are you in directories, et cetera? Making sure that you come up for local search, you have the right keywords in your blog content and video, et cetera. So this is just about, um, this is just about how to get more local attention. Social, we take a look at your social media and give you best tips and advice and practice there. The next month, we're going to take a look at your mobile, see how your mobile strategy is going, give you tips, suggestions, and tricks for improvement. The next month, we are going to take a look at your content. We'll give you uh, content strategy and suggestions. Then we'll tell you where you should syndicate your content. Um, more competitive analysis, analytics, branding, graphics, campaign planning, and paid ads. So you won't just be doing all of this fluffy stuff. You do the fluffy stuff, and then we do the hard stuff, but we only do the hard stuff once you have done your stuff. So um, that is basically how the program works. In terms of um, the execution part, there are 
four different there are four or five one two three five different levels at which we can provide execution support and service so lone ranger this is well actually let me just read them there's the lone ranger bronze silver gold and platinum concierge service that's we provide the information we give you we advise you we advise you plus a little bit more we guide you and we drive so with the Lone Ranger, you'd be paying 97 bucks a month, and that just gives you access to all of the MapDom files so that you can figure out for yourself how to do your website, what are the best practices of a website, how to do an email, what are the best practices of an email, how do you do a video, what's the best practice of an email, how do you get ranked on social. But we don't verify anything for you. There's no feedback. We just provide you the information in an organized and structured fashion that is easily accessible for you. And then you go out and you hit the ground running, you know, you're on your own. You are a survivor. And then the next package up is the bronze package that's $227 a month. And that of course gives you access to all the files. You do, however, report you do, however, upload a written and video report, and we will give you feedback on that. So that way you know you're going in the right direction. I'm sure that you know for many business people, they are entrepreneurs, small business owners, they are sometimes very isolated and they're doing things and there's nobody to do like QA quality assurance or give you feedback that really knows what they're doing so this is a very very valuable program right here and then you have the sil silver gold and platinum concierge service and and those are um, dedicated marketing hours so you're basically hiring us as your marketing agency and every month we will put 18 hours or 34 hours or 68 hours towards developing and executing your marketing plan now what's nice about here this is this is really for the person that sort of you know is making money and they want to have more of a, a hands-off approach so you know with the higher packages especially we would be you know, doing the video script, like it's very, very detailed what we do. With the, with local, we would be listing it locally for you. Um, you know, we would put you in the Google pages. We would be doing all of that stuff. We might be posting to your social media. We would be assisting you with your mobile. So, again, how much assistance and support that you get in each of these areas really depends, really depends on which of these packages you choose. So yeah, that's basically how the program works when we speak later today or tomorrow. Um, you said that you want to get more traffic, so we are going to look at what you're doing now and all of the different ways that we can accomplish that for you. Thank you so, so much for your time today, Odessa. I really, really appreciate it. Ha, ha, ha.